And we waited till pretty late in the year, but we're finally getting to explore the Many Glacier area. Um, Glacier National Park is broken up into several different areas, actually. And uh, we've explored pretty much every section up to this point, except for the Many Glacier St. Mary's area, which is now where we're trying to get to on our days when we have time to go hike. We're doing uh, Iceberg Lake today and the Ptarmigan Tunnel. And uh, it's just awesome. We're kind of just walking along the side of this mountain, Alpine. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. All right, so we are starting out here at the Iceberg Lake in the Ptarmigan Trailhead. We are going up to the falls. We're going to go check out Iceberg Lake over here and then backtrack and go up and check out the tunnel, which is the highlight of this trip. The fires are really reducing the visibility. Air quality is not great out here. Um, it's pretty high wildfire activity in Montana right now. There's several active fires and the quartz fire is inside the park so it's relatively close and it is definitely causing the air quality to be very poor today as you can see but uh yeah so it kind of sucks all the color out of the landscape it's kind of weird it's interesting Already fall. Aspen trees are changing colors. You can see fall coming. So cool. It's really awesome. We got here and it was snowing, and now probably going to be snowing before we leave. One really, really nice part about the national parks is these trails are beautiful. I mean, they're maintained. They're so, so nice and wide. Um, the National Park Service does a really nice job with that, that's for sure. get that. So we just hit the trail crossing to head up to Iceberg Lake and uh, got some bears frequenting the area. So we've had a few bear encounters this summer. Um, nothing too terribly close. Uh, definitely had a few close calls with cubs that we didn't like. Try it again. Okay, so we are out on the Iceberg Lake Trail, and uh, wish the visibility was a little bit better today. These views are actually spectacular. 
but because of the smoke, it just looks hazy. You can't actually see. Let's see. You can see across how on a clear day this would be unbelievable. Stay on the trail. Yeah, look at that with wildflower season. Oh wow. Wow. And there is Iceberg wow. Lake. So we were just checking out Iceberg Lake. It's a great big bull moose down there. Tolerated yeah. all of us. Yeah. We went and on at him. Biggest moose we've seen so far. It was pretty sweet. It's a pretty big moose, I guess. Yeah. What did you think of Iceberg Lake? It was really pretty. It was yeah. really pretty. I think on a clear, sunny day, it would be remarkable. Even right. more so because it's very blue. Yeah. Like, yeah, the, the one iceberg like that's out there is really beautiful blue. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Yeah, because you can actually like do that like in one like one second too. Dang. All right, so we've went back to the trail junction, saw Iceberg Lake. Now we're heading up to Tarmac Tarmigan Lake, Tarmigan Falls, Tarmigan Tunnel. Um, other hikers in the area just saw a bear in the area. We haven't seen it, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, we're going to go do some elevation right now. And Emily's mad at me because we went to the wrong trail first. <laughs> Which one do you want to do first? And I said, let's do the harder one. And we did not do the harder one first. Oops. This is actually very cool because the way that these trails work. So that's Iceberg Peak. We were just on the other side of that at Iceberg Lake. This whole patch of huckleberries through here. Look how many huckleberry bushes there are. It's just, this is the first time I've ever seen so many readily available. Beat that family behind us. <laughs> There's everywhere. Mm hmm. Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I might have found our lunch spot. That's uh, a pretty good rock for stopping. But also, it looks like it clears right here. So I'm wondering, okay, here's the start of the switchback where she was talking about. We can stop at these rocks right out in the open. Got some cold soap couscous with some cashews and beef jerky in there. Smoke is really cutting down on our visibility, but what a cool hike. 
You can see all those pine cones, yeah, on the top of the tree. <laughs> Again, Lake. Over there, there's the switchback on the other side. So it looks to me like there's a path that goes all the way around that lake. Yeah, I'm thinking about you, Jason, because we'd be going that way. Going up there. So here we are, we are about to go through the Tarmington Tunnel. This is a 250 foot man-made tunnel that is the pass right through. Oh, I don't like it. How you feeling back there? Fine, actually. Yeah. You know why? Because I can see out both sides. If I couldn't see, then I would freak out. Yeah, don't look at the light. Look at the rock above us. Oh, oh scary. I'm like, we're literally walking through a mountain. Wow, oh. the fire's even more on this side. Whoa. Look at that red rock. Okay. Wow. So we're looking down on Elizabeth Lake from the north side of the Ptarmigan Tunnel. And this is just gorgeous. We're just walking right along the side of this cliff. It's unbelievable what they have done. This is an amazing feat of engineering. So cool. Just blast a tunnel right through the mountain so we can hike through it. Just beautiful. I know. I mean, on a more clear day, this would definitely be more more visually appearing. Yeah, on a clear day when we didn't have all the smoke, but it's still unbelievable. 